Motorsport auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment. Visit their website for more details. Good morning everyone, welcome to the final race roundup for 2015 here at Laguna Seca. It's round 10 of the BMW Z4 and Mazda MX-5 Championship. Simon Lundell is on pole ahead of Barry Bird and Van Delden. Van Delden is only a few points behind the championship leader Adam Thorne. Tony Bird sits in 4th head of Phil Gregory and Ben Hackerson. Welcome return to him. Neil Bamber's in 7th head of Ryan Walker and David Rowand. On to the first of the Thorns, it's Ian Thorne in 10th head of Actar. To the MX-5s, there's only a few entries this week with Adam Thorne heading up ahead of Alan McCain. Ricky Green's in 3rd head of Ian Malesver and Chris Buttrell. Marion Bradshaw in the final position on the grid. With so much at stake for the championship, Van Delden's got to do absolutely everything he can to maximise his point scoring. Well, he couldn't get qualifying. We're going to go on board with Simon Underhill for the fastest lap of the session of 1 minute 20.826. Here we are on board with Sam Underhill, just come round turn 11 and onto the main straight. The power down now as we head up toward the first few corners, including Andretti Hairpin. So keep it nice and wide here on the left, and then swap to the right hand side to get a good entry into the hairpin. Nice and tight through here, you've got to keep the car turning all the way through as soon as you can get the power down once more as we go up to turn 3, the first of the right handers. So through here, you've got to be careful not to run wide. You will pick up penalties if you get all the wheels off the track there. Now up to turn number four. This is a relatively fast corner. Now once again, foot to the floor, coming up to turn number five. Now it's always turn number six that catches people out here, so keep it nice and tight in around turn five. Now we start going up the hill towards the corkscrew. Under the GoPro bridge and into turn six. Everyone holds the breath here as they come into this corner. We see so many cars off track. Through all our events this year, there have been more than one person off there. Now making our way up towards the corkscrew, going into this absolutely blind, heavy on the brakes. Turn into the left, as soon as you see the trees, you can turn back right and make your way out the corkscrew. Now we're on to turn number nine, this is Rainy Curve. And then coming down towards the start of the pit entrance and turn number 10. So through turn 10, you'll see the pit entrance there on the left hand side. Now thinking about the final corner to get a good exit out of here, breaking early, coming through and back onto the main straight. So the pressure is on Van Delden and Adam Thorne to see who will take the overall driver's standings in the final event of the year. Let's head trackside and get the race underway. Acorn Printing are the teamwear supply for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Quinton. See the video description to learn more. Here we go then for the final time in 2015, all the cars are lined up on the grid and ready to go. You can see Actar there in the background flashing away, so it's Simon Undale on pole from Barry Bird and then Van Delden in third. The Z4s get away off the line, Simon keeps his lead down towards the first corner into the hairpin. Here come the MX-5s just behind as well. Van Delden up on the inside, trying to make a move there. He's got ahead of Barry Bird into second place. Phil Gregory's up into third. Phil now right alongside Barry, but Barry's going to hold on to third position. So Phil down to fourth. He separates the tech speed racing cars through the first corners here at Laguna. To the start of the MX-5 race then, it is Adam Thorne ahead of McCain and then Ricky Green in third. Adam Thorne will be doing everything he can to keep Van Delden at bay. There's only seven points separating them in the championship. They're now coming down towards Andretti Hairpin for the first time as well. There is Jan Malesver trying to have a look up the inside for Motorsport Auctions. He's up ahead of Ricky Green, Chris Butcher on the inside as well. Gary Bradshaw at the back, staying out of harm's way for now. McCain's got the better line through the first corner, but Adam Thorne maintains the lead as we come up to turn number three. Well, it would be Bradshaw who would be first off at turn six. He was the first of the MX-5 to pull off there and put it into the tyre wall. Straight away, lap number one, Gary needing repairs. Now watching Tony Bird and Ben Hackerson. Tony having a slight wobble for tech speed racing. Ben Hackerson in the team clockwork car coming up the outside of him. It's nice to have Ben back with us. He will be with us for the Skip Barber Championship as well. Tony does manage to hold on to the place though, into the Andretti hairpin. He's got the inside line there. Ben and Tony having a fantastic start to this race. On to victim number two at turn six. This was on board with David Rowland. He was chasing the MKB racing car there just ahead. He put it into the wall, a carbon copy of what Gary Bradshaw did in the MX-5. David rejoining the track though, not too much damage, carrying on with his race. This is on board with Van Delden chasing the race leader Simon Underhill. Now it is the final roundup of the year, so we're going to use this as a bit of a chance to thank everybody who's been involved. So first to all the drivers who have competed in our championship, a big thank you to you. 
Uh, we couldn't have done what we do without you. You do make the league what it is, so we really appreciate you joining us for the races. We hope you've enjoyed them all this year. Also, a big thank you to our partners. Now, Bowling Solutions have provided iRacing credits to all our event winners throughout 2015. That's a relationship we will continue into 2016 as well. Bowling Solutions do provide low tail mods and pedal adapters for Thrustmaster and Logitech wheels. If you need one, head over to their website now. To Acon Printing, they joined us halfway through 2015. They've provided custom polo shirts for all our event winners. You can pick up Team Power shirts via our website as well. We have more new items coming in 2016, so keep checking back there. Last but not least, to Motorsport Auctions. They joined us halfway through 2015 as well. They've really helped Bosra behind the scenes, including facilitating our membership to the MSA. That was another fantastic achievement for the league this year. We are the first PC-based racing league to be approved by them. So thank you to all our partners for supporting us, and don't forget that next year we have Seagate and Synology joining us. They've provided a server for the admin team to use behind the scenes so we can bring you even more content throughout the year it should be a very exciting year next year oh ricky green just getting in the way there of van delden as we come through the final corner so that's held van delden up just a little bit we're going to move to adam thorne in the mx5 see how he's getting on a bit of a wobble coming through turn number three but he has maintained a lead in the MX-5s, Alan McCain is further behind him. You saw just behind there an incident involving one of the Z4s. Now, that wasn't Van Delden. He's actually coming up to lap Adam Thorne, so we're going to move back now and see what happened there. This is the rear view from Van Delden. He'd just taken his mandatory pit stop. As he comes out of the pits, you can see Barry Bird is just behind. So, Barry trying to catch up to the back end of Van Delden. This is the fight for second and third place overall. Coming through turn three, though, Barry won slightly wide, puts it into the gravel and then heavily into the wall. From one Tech Speed Racing Z4 to another, we're going to follow Tony Bird now. He was being followed by Ryan Walker coming up into turn number six. Maybe the pressure got to him a little bit. He went over the rumble strip there and off wide. Ryan picks up a place there. Tony stuffs it into the wall. Not too heavy this time, but a trip to the pits nonetheless for repairs. Turning our attention now to our race leader as he comes through the court screw. Simon had been leading the race since the very beginning. Coming through the next corner though, Simon a bit too eager to get the power on. You can see him sliding there already. Simon clipping the wall and taking off the bonnet on the Z4. He did manage to get the car turned back round. He joined the track and made his way to the pits under his own steam. That would cost him the lead of the race though. Because here come the rest of the Z4s just behind. So Simon pulls off into the pits. That would give Van Delden the opportunity to take first place. Turn 6 then picked up another victim, this time it was Neil Bamber in the Z4s for MKB Racing. Neil's had a fantastic year, albeit slightly behind Underhill and Van Delden. Hopefully in 2016 he'll improve on that and take a championship win. Adam Thorne had lost his first place to Alan McCain, but he had picked up a few extra bonus points during the race. He had got the fastest lap of the race, so that gave him an additional bonus point. He also qualified first for the start of the race, so that was another. And he also finished the race, so three bonus points for Adam during this race. Would that give him enough to take the title from Van Delden? So Adam was sitting second in his race, but Van Delden was about to win it in the Z4s. The only thing was, Van Delden only picked up one extra bonus point. So as he came across the line, no additional points could be found. Let's go to the standings then and see how the championship finished. Bowden Solutions produce the very best low tail mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bowdensolutions.com. First then we go to the race results, it was Van Delden who took the win from Underhill and Phil Gregory in third, Motorsport Auctions had a good finish in fourth with Ryan Walker, David Rowland in fifth ahead of Akta and Bamba, Ian Thorne was in eighth ahead of the Bird Brothers, first Barry and then Tony. Last in the Z4s was Ben Hackerson for Team Clockwork, Alan McCain won the final race in the MX5s for Bentley Boys Racing ahead of Adam Thorne and Ricky Green, Jan was of 15th overall ahead of Chris Buttrell and Marion Bradshaw. For the final time this year, we go to the driver's standings. Well, it was Adam Thorne who won it overall, just four points separating him from Van Delden. Simon Underhill finishes in third ahead of Alan McCain and Phil Gregory for Bentley Boys Racing. Martin Gwenicke is in sixth ahead of Jan Malazva and Ricky Green in eighth for MKB Racing. Tech Speed Racing are up next with Barry Bird in ninth and Scott Malcolm tenth. Darren Ford in 11th ahead of Ian Thorne for Bowdoin Solutions and Chris Buttrell for Acorn Printing. 14th saw Ryan Walker for Motorsport Auctions ahead of Akta and David Rowan. 
Diamond, MKB Racing there in 16th, 17th and 18th. Next up was Russell Band, head of Gary Bradshaw and Martin Brandon. Francis Winnell in 22nd, head of Tony Bird and Ian Robson. Tony had a good start to the championship, he had only been with us for a few rounds. Brendan Tills is in 25th, we didn't see much of him this year. Ben Hackerson returns in 26th, the head of Jonathan Beresford. He had a lot on this year with his boxing. David Waldock, another new racer, in 28th, head of Jason Cox in 29th. So now we know the drivers' champions, let's head to the team standings. And a big surprise here, it is Bentley Boys Racing. They've pipped Bowden Solutions and Acorn Print into it. Just look at that, four points separating first to third. MKB Racing sitting fourth, ahead of Motorsport Auctions. A bit of a resurgence from them late on. They're ahead of Tech Speed Racing. And finally, it's Team Clockwork. Congratulations to all our winners in this event. That is it for 2015. We'll be back in 2016 with the Skip Barber Championship. And we have another event yet to announce after that. So thank you ever so much for watching all year round. Have a very Merry Christmas and a fantastic New Year. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.